I have two close friends who are amazing artists. One is a phenomenal illustrator and story writer. The other is a songwriter and a fantastic pianist. Now these are two of my best friends. And when I say best friends, it's because I only had three people in my wedding as far as groomsmen, and there are two of them. Another guy's pretty creative too, he writes songs. Awesome photographer. But that's besides the point. With this being two of my closest friends being so gifted um, artistically, always having their creativity on display, it kind of left me in a place where I didn't really feel like I had much creativity or could even display it at times. About two years ago, I started a YouTube channel, mostly to convince my wife that I can make money playing video games. Because that's what it is, it's free kills. And he's exactly right. Why am I white? Oh, what? This dude is LeBron. Oh, what? This dude got hops. And that didn't happen, by the way. I never made money playing video games. So, now these were cool and all, but I didn't really feel like I was using any creativity when I was playing it. You know, I, I would play a game, try to say something funny, throughout the game and I'll post it. Then I started editing. Fell in love with editing to the point where I was addicted. I did whatever YouTuber does when they're doing a YouTube. I shot a vlog. Uh, Kevin turned on the camera, so I guess we, we doing this. Someone is calling me and I need to find my wife. All right, boo, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you ready to? Yeah. Okay, cool. This vlog uh, got more views than any of my gaming videos by about three times as much. So it was kind of clear at that point that I should probably do something in front of a camera, but I had never touched a camera before that. And that vlog was about seven months ago. I've been completely addicted ever since then um, to the point where I actually just shot a wedding about two or three weeks ago. It was phenomenal. I shot the wedding with my wife. Amazing. Um, first of all, working with my, my wife was probably the best thing I ever did in my life. In the midst of me chasing after this dream to be a filmmaker, I've had a lot of friends reach out to me saying how I've inspired them to now start to pursue um, their passion. To be honest, I felt humbled that me just, you know, just trying to learn this new thing has excited people to do it. So that actually pushes me to want to create more than just the love for creating. Why I create is to inspire. I dove all the way in, no plan B, going head first, saying this is what I love, this is what I was made to do. So whatever your passion is, I just want to let you know that you can do whatever it is you want to do. Just go all in. I believe in you. Let's do it. Peace. All right. I want to thank you all for watching that video. I hope you liked it. Um, a little bit more serious for what I normally make. Um, thinking about making a Why I Create series. Please let me know if you would like to see more of that. More of that. If not, I'm going to make them anyway. I need practice. Thanks again for watching. Please, you know, like, favorite, subscribe. I don't how why do people say that? You can't actually favorite on YouTube. I don't like, share and subscribe. Is that what people say? Whatever. Just um if you like it, let me know. I don't have a cool outro like most people, so um I'm I don't I don't have an outro.